sit up. Just sit up. Now, back up. Now, sit down. Oh. Anybody ever tell you you're not supposed to try to bust rocks with your head? That's all right. I really wasn't trying to break any rocks. You weren't, huh? Just jumped up and bit you. Yeah, sort of. The leak spotted. Yeah, we'll have to report that. Oh, this old dam gets them all the time. Oh, hold still a minute. Anything else? Elbows, ankles, kneecaps? No. Well, seem to be all right. Oh, all right. Now, hold still a minute. This is going to smart a bit. OK. Turn away from me. You get home from here OK? Yeah, I can get a ride from the lodge. All right. What's your name? Andy. Andy Cutler. Cutler? Cutler, eh? You have a sister named Mary. Well, you know her. Well, I know her boyfriend. Paul? Huh? Yeah. We did some flying together. Hey, you're Steve Brannigan, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, Paul's talked about you. <laughs> what did he say? Well, the part I can repeat is something about a wild-eyed Irishman. Good figures. Open your eye. Open up. Now look down. Listen, it's still a long hike up the lodge. You made it okay? Sure. Sure. Go ahead, stand up. How you feel? Fine. Okay. Don't forget to tell Sam about that leak now. Okay. So long. Oh, Mr. Brannigan? Yeah. Thanks for landing and all. My pleasure. Andy? How old are you? Thirteen. Paul, you look comfortable. Well, well, if it isn't the red baron and his big-tailed bird. Watch it. You're talking about the bird I love. And wish you won't. Only 900 more simple, easy payments. She's all mine. <laughs> Which you'll earn by bringing in those super sportsman of yours? Yep. Just brought in another one. What'd the lake look like? Wet. How high was the water? It's pretty high. It's almost to the top of the dam. How close to the top? About a foot. All we got to do is let out some of the water. Oh, sure. And spoil the fishing. Hey, I ran into your, uh, your girlfriend's kid brother. Bandaged his head, as a matter of fact. What happened to him? Well, there's nothing to worry about. Uh, he was up on the side of the dam, and a leak popped out and startled him, I guess, and he slipped and fell. <laughs> He's OK, though. I sent him up to sand to report the leak. How big a leak? Oh, it's not very big. The kid says the dam leaks all the time. Where was it? about 10 feet from the bottom on the right-hand side of the spillway. Yeah, the town council's going to have to get off the dime this time. What do you want them to do, build your new dam? Yeah, a safe one. Hey, Tom, do me a favor. Will you call John Cutler? Tell him I'm on my way into town. I want a council meeting now. Urgent. OK, you got a boat. You want a lift? The leak's walking. Good. You can give him a first-hand report on the leak. Oh, no. Don't include me in your messes. You and the town fathers fight your own wars. I'm going to put in some rest and recreation with Daisy Kempel and be on the way. You know, Steve, you haven't changed a hell of a lot. Well, neither of you. 
Paul Blake, the school teacher, the town councilman, the world helper. Listen, all I want to do is keep myself in one piece and get a little bit of my share of the action, that's all. <laughs>